lentils. The yellow lentils, so we need some tomatoes and coriander. So I put that much of ghee in it. Cumin seeds. Add the whole chili, twisting up the end. I have already boiled 150 grams of yolo lentils, which look like this. Add the boiled lentils to the pan. Okay. I'll put some water in it. Add tomatoes and coriander. Salt, sugar, okay, and it's I have to stir it a little bit. Wait two or two or three minutes and then it's done. I boiled it, uh, boiled the, this lentil in a pressure cooker. If you don't have the pressure cooker, don't worry. If you leave overnight in the hot water, then it becomes softer and then it, you can cook very quickly. Then I put the lemon leaves. Okay. Now let me done. I put it in Okay. Let this finger the with onion. Okay, it's warm enough. I don't cut the chilies because then it becomes very hot. So I, I put the whole chili. Add the onions. Then you can put the oak down. You can put bit of salt That's enough stir it and then you can I'll, I'll put some coriander powder powder actually I, I learned from this recipe from my one of my friend, best friend. So they use coriander powder and it gives the flavor, different flavor. While the okra cooks, chop the onions and garlic for the prawn curry. Anyone of you can start. Are you trying to get the, the okra out without the juice or? Oh, without the oil. Uh -huh. 
so I need onions, garlic, ginger, coriander, coriander, fresh coriander or coriander powder? Coriander, fresh coriander. You can put coriander powder, powder as well if you don't have the uh, coriander, the, the fresh one. And um, normally I use the fresh ginger, but sometimes it takes time to peel and to ground it. So I uh, sometimes I use Korean um, ginger paste or garlic paste. Halve and slice the tomato. Cut a 50 gram piece of ginger. Peel it and dice it. Use a garlic press to crush the ginger. It's great finding these little shortcuts. So yeah. Mm. Like you said, a hot moment. Okay. That much is enough. We have this. Extra virgin olive oil. Give some bay leaves. One. Bay leaves. Bay leaves, yes. And clove. Cinnamon. The cinnamon stick. Oh, you break the okay. uh -huh, Yes, otherwise it could burst. Add garlic, onions, tomatoes, and the green chilies. Stir a bit. Chop up the coriander. You can see the onions. You can soft. Mm -hmm. Into it. And then I put the ginger. Fresh ginger, stir a little bit. Sugar. Is that great marketing food etched? 
Yes. 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 Now add the prawns. Lime. Add the juice from the lime. Then I add the colouring fresh colour. Wash the rice. All the dishes warm in an oven at 50 degrees Celsius. I post these recipes as a discussion topic on the Facebook page Kaberi's Indian Cooking. Please post your feedback there, including your experience and photos of trying to make the dishes yourself. I look forward to seeing how you get on. I am always keen to learn. So please feel free to share your own recipes and maybe I can include them in a future episode. In the next episode, I will be showing more easy healthy Indian cooking. Until then, take care and goodbye.